This is the spreadsheet which will allow us to assess the effects of government spending on GDP and the budget. In this column, column B, we've got base values for the various uh, tax receipts and expenditures of government as well as GDP. These are essentially the 2012 values taken from the ONS database. Then in column F, we've got the various elasticities for tax receipts and spending with respect to changes in GDP. And then in column G, we've got the marginal effects, which have been calculated in the way indicated in the main article. What we're going to do is we're going to change the level of government spending and see what effects this has on tax receipts and on gross domestic product. So to do that, we enter a value into this cell here for the percentage change in government consumption. I'm going to enter this here as 5% or 0.05 hit return and it, the spreadsheet is set up so that it will calculate the effects on tax receipts and spending. We see here that the various tax receipts have generally gone up whereas spending has gone down because of a reduction in social security transfers. I'm assuming the central value of the multiplier here is 1.06 and if we look at the effects of that we see there has been a 1.17% increase in GDP. The deficit has risen by 9 billion, although total spending, as we see here, has gone up by 17 billion. So we see there's quite a big effect on the deficit coming through higher taxes and lower government spending. For the next part of this exercise, I'm going to conduct a sensitivity analysis to see how sensitive our results are to the value that I assume for the multiplier. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the upper and lower ends of the range suggested by the IMF as plausible values for the multiplier. At the lower end we take a value of the multiplier of 0.5. And if we enter that we see that we get a much smaller increase in GDP by only 0.55% in this case. And as a result tax receipts rise by less, social security transfers fall by less, and as a result, the deficit increases by 13 billion um, relative to an increase in government consumption of 17 billion. Now let's consider at the upper end of the range of the multiplier. In this case, I'm going to enter a value here of 1.8. If we enter that, then we see that the deficit um, increases by much less, by only 4 billion. And this is because we're getting a much bigger increase in tax receipts and a much bigger fall in social security transfers. So we see that the results are in fact very, very sensitive to the value that we assume for the multiplier. And if we look at sheet two here, and what I've done on sheet two here is just given a summary of the results. If we take relative to our base scenario, what happens to GDP under our central forecast, that's for a multiplier of 1.06. The best case scenario where the multiplier is 1.8, the worst case scenario when the multiplier is 0.5 and we see that it uh, makes a big difference to the effects on GDP, it also makes a big difference to the effects on the deficit.